Spa, Cornwall, and Somerset. They are the important provinces. And... I just need to core five here. But let's take the five cheapest ones, and then it should form a colony, and the other ones should join in as well. One, two, three, four, five. So that should make it form a colony. We can get a higher rank. What does that do? Gain 25 prestige. Alright. Fine by me. Exile armies, I know. Let's get the extra discipline. And let's get time ticking again. So, I'd say... We've really hurt England. Destroyed a part of his fleet. Wrecked a part of his army. Sakalava. Where is Sakalava? Oh. Interesting. I'll accept that. Interesting thought. Be my ally in the Far East. Alright. Let's bring those together. Yes. Put you guys on rebel suppression. Because we don't want any rebels to spawn here. Probably should do it like this. And then... Ain't there one for unrest here? It's this one. That will make sure there will be less unrest in these provinces. Also will make me a li bit, little bit less money. So autonomy has to go down again. But that's fine. We can deal with that. And... I mean, we have enough money anyway. High naval attrition, yes, I thought so. So they will probably won't survive. Those cute ships. But hey, who cares, they're just three ships, it's fine. Land force limit or fort defense? Well, let's do fort defense right now. Not that we're really defending anything, but... Oh, that's okay. Now, let's check. Can we... Build something like that. That makes money. Hmm. Seems like quite a bit of money. 38, 14, 61. Interesting. Since we have the money to do that, why not do that? Well... This should help increase our trade power in different nodes, which is also nice. And of course we should save a bit of money for hard times. Because in those hard times, we really want to... Yes, we lost all our ships, fine. No circular navigation yet. How much money do we make? 34. Well, that's fine. So the colonies will take a while. But that's okay. some claims there. They have embraced global trade. I don't think I can already. Global trade. It is spreading, however, in my land, so, but just not so fast. So we have to wait a little, and once it's spread, we'll be fine. And, well... After that, it will still cost a lot, but... 
The development of ironworks. Well, boy, you develop ironworks. All fine by me. Here we have a core coming in. Yes, perfect. They're really a part of my empire now. The others are halfway done, so once they're done, this should be a colony of our own. Where's the British going now? He's probably going full on Argentine and the Far East. I don't see any new colonies growing yet. We should try and go for Australia. That could be a really interesting deal. Let's just take these two and start here. So we can really get Australia into a, our empire. Australia usually is a nice colony which will send you gold and stuff, so we could do with that. Oh, I would like that. How are we doing military wise? We do have room for 17 new armies. Interesting, but not yet really useful. We don't need them now. But if someone declares war on us, there is room, so it's good to know. Probably. Oh, we have quite a few fortresses. Get rid of a few. Oh, this one's really centered, so let's keep that one. This one can go, however. This one as well, because we have ones around the Pyrenees already. Right. Save us money also. Or I should say that will also save us money. It's probably better spoken. Alright, so let's check. What can we do? Any provinces worth investing in? Uh, not really. Local development cost and possible number of buildings gets one extra. Well, let's do that in Provence. I want to have an extra building there. And... Plus 24, that's always nice. 18... Then it's worth the investment yet. It really gets low. And it's not worth the investment. 20 is worth it, so let's do it like that. Alright, our colonies are slowly becoming cores. We can become defender of the fate. Alright, I'm not interested in that. Cornhorn. Somerset are now cores, so we have two cores on the British Isles. And from there we can slowly try to expand, of course. This is Hampshire, so let's get a claim on Hampshire. Should also get a claim on Hino. Probably one on Namur as well. We can threaten him to a war. He will almost accept. But we will get 20 aggressive expansion, so be careful with that since we're already yes of course you can see my ideas no problem edgy down thanks for asking i have the economic ideas so i make some money i have exploration ideas before for the colonists and for exploration then of course expansion as well so we can really invest in the colonies and then i went for defensive and probably the next one will be quantity or quality at least probably another military one so we can take on the Ottomans anywhere soon. So those are the ideas right now. And of course if you have any suggestions or something, just let me know. Because I'm interested in, in wise people all the time. And thank you for the follow, Echidan. I really like that. Oh, let's hire him. Let's see, French Canada sounds nice. So, now the other provinces should have gotten in, yes, so he can core them, saves us the admin power. 
And we just have another colony, another yeah, colonial empire. Well, let's engage ourselves a bit with them. So let's increase our relations with them, or improve them, as it is called. Now, question is, should we switch our religion? Because, well, the Catholic bonuses is tolerance of the true fate, and towards heretics, we ain't that nice. If we switch to reformed, we have a high tolerance to heretics. And we get extra advisors. Protestants, also interesting because of the money, but we already have so much money, so... Yeah, what should we do? We gain a lot of money by switching out. And we get a lot of missionary strength. So I think this could be it. But I'm not sure, so if you guys have any advice, just let me know. I can send out another merchant. Interesting. Let's check how the trade flows. So from the Caribbean we already have one. There's one going into the English Channel here, but that's not really what we want. But this one's going to Bordeaux. This is the Gulf of St. Lawrence. So let's send one there. And he will transfer trade power towards Bordeaux, which is nice for us. It's a good one. It'll give us extra money. Problem with switching faith is that we will have religious unrest for a while. That's something I'm not really fond of, but... Well... We should be able to deal with that. Ooh, interesting. Well, let's wait a little while so it gets cheaper. And then perhaps we should switch out. Also saving money. Ooh, that will take it will take some time. Let's check how fast does it grow in the provinces right at them. Well, not too fast, but not that slow either, so... I guess, I mean, how long does this take? Ten more years. Well, I guess we'll have to be patient. But that's fine. I think we can do that. So, switch faith or not? I think I should, but... Not sure. Now well, let's take the inflation. There is a ledger for faith, I believe. Country. Religions. I think there's supposed to be a pie thingy where you can see how many people have a certain faith. Or well, at least I thought there was. Perhaps I'm wrong. I'm known to be wrong. But I thought there was a pie chart that showed you how many people had a certain faith in your nation. Let's get through it rather fast and then check. Yes, here it is. So, already a quarter is reformed. So if we switch and then start converting, it could be interesting. I'll think about it a second and probably then try it. I mean, why not? Let's take a gamble every now and then. 114, which is good because we're saving them now. Next year it'll probably be even cheaper. We get a new idea group soon. Also very interesting. Oh, they did the first circumnavigation. That's good for them. We weren't able to do so, but he is apparently. Well, let's wait a second, give him a general, that always helps. And there he goes. One rebel army down. 
Second rebel army down. Third rebel army down. Ignore them. Let's do it like that. That's fine. We can deal with that. They're gone as well. Perfect. So, he's doing nice. And now we have the military power for that one again. Well, he's dealing with that well. Well, this is kind of boring music. Let's see if we can do something about that. Yes, we can. That's better. An advisor died. Oh, don't die on me. Let's get the inflation down. That's useful. Alright, let's switch out those Protestants. Trade goods in Wajuk. Perfect. Let's recall our diplomat. Let's get the military tech. So we can get those better cannons. What else? Better in cavalry. Always good. So. Let's check our opinions. And coalition wise, looking better. They're not that pissed anymore, which is a good thing. So probably we can annoy Burgundy by doing another claim on them and getting a province of him, threatening him with a war. Yes, he will give up. Fine. All right. Now, let's give Flanders the province of Hino. And then he can core it, and we don't have to bother with that. And we can also... What happened? He made it free. What a fool. Oh, we'll get Austria in. Not good. What an idiot. Gave him a province. He just prayed, lets them break free. Don't know why he would do that. Ooh, that's nice. Monsieur de Richelieu. So, how many... We need more there, that's not nearly close enough. They're in a succession war, over he know, so he'll probably get it back. Well, that was interesting. Not how I wanted to go, but interesting. Alright, who is Spain allied with? Ooh, he has quite a few allies. Declare war on him, they will all join in. Not good, not good. We have a free colonist, let's send him over here. Alright, we should start looking around for people to attack. But Austria will get in. Which is something I don't like. And not that powerful, but with all of his allies and the Holy Roman Empire. Could spell doom, so we should slowly dismantle that. Or at least try to dismantle it. But let's first continue with Britain. He's allied himself still with Denmark, well that's fine. We can embrace the institution. Interesting. Let's save a bit more money and do that, because that will give us new tax faster. 
And that's definitely something I like. More tech, better tech. Who doesn't want it? So let's check because Christmas Island. Oh, great. Those colonists are still working hard. We make plenty of money. So you. And you. I will recall you guys. Sent you over here. Makes colonizing a bit more expensive. But we'll go faster at the same time. Austria inherited Burgundy. Well, that's fine. Makes him quite a bit bigger though. But hopefully we'll just get into a war with the Ottomans. I think the time has come to switch out. If we check, a quarter is already reformed and I want to be totally reformed. It's my religion now anyway. So let's switch. We will get a lot of money from it. And our missionary strength will go up, which is really nice. So, we switched out. Perfect. And if we become Defender of the Fate, we get an extra missionary, which is nice. So, let's start it up. Let's check. One of the following must be true. France is not Catholic. All of the following must be true. Paris Control. What do I get? 10 prestige. Okay. Stability cost. Interesting. Get extra missionary strength, extra missionary strength, extra missionary strength. That's always nice. Let's see what can we do here. Not really much because I want to save all my monarch points right now. What does this cost? It's rather cheap. So let's embrace it. Get an extra merchant, I believe. Found East India Trade Company. Perfect. Let's do that. We have two extra merchants now and... Well, this is splendid. We can do quite a lot of things right now. Alright guys, any tips? Which idea group should I get? Let me know. I'll just get another cup of coffee. My last one for tonight. And you can think about which idea group I should get. Just tell me. I'm really interested in what you guys think. So, just let me know. I'm thinking about a military one? Probably, well... If we take quantity, we get extra manpower, recovery speed, regiment cost, maintenance modifier, mercenaries, garrison size, and land attrition. And our large force limit will go up again. And, well, with quality they will fight better, but, well... <laughs> well... I am uh, thinking of going for that, so I'll go with quantity. And since we are ahead, we can already take the National Manpower Modifier 1, which is nice. We get extra manpower from it. I have two extra merchants to send out. Where should I send them? Well, let's follow trade, of course, and then let's see. Am I in the English Channel yet? No, but I do have power there, so we can get one in there to collect. And... We could send one to Chesapeake Bay. Where will it send it? The English Channel or to the Gulf of St. Lawrence. So, let's do that and let it send it over. That's it. Alright, well, now we'll just have to wait. We've lost excommunication, which is nice. We've lost the fact of the Catholic Empire, that's fine by me. Now, we probably... Oh, it says religious unity is a hundred. I don't know if that's true. Well, that's interesting. We have fever points. Alright, we have something to invest in, so... We can invest on trade, we can invest in war, 
It will cost 5 points of fever and will then withdraw the same amount of points each month. And stability, national unrest and diplomatic reputation. Well, I don't think we need any yet. So let's just wait with it. Let's save up some points and when we go to war we can issue that and use the extra morale to crush our enemies. No real need for it now. We have to be a bit careful though with Austria because he's rather powerful but we will go for him at some point as well as the Ottomans but I sure hope that those two will just get to go to war with each other don't really have to bother about it that will be the best probably so French Canada is looking good we have well let's just go the fast way Perfect. We want all those provinces to come to the true fate. Still making loads of money. Let's get a force limit up again. We want a bigger army. Just like that. Excellent. Hi, the Q. Thank you. I'm sorry, I probably slaughtered your name. Terribly sorry about that. But nice of you to join in. Welcome. Feel free to talk and ask questions, give me tips, tricks, I don't know. All fine by me. Can you see the great powers? I think you can. Just keep your eyes open, here they are. Well, obviously the Ottomans, because, well, they just start off great and usually do great, but we still have a while to go, so let's hope at some point we can crush them. Then it's us, and then it is Spain. So, one of the targets in the future will be Spain, and hopefully as colonies. Ming's still around, although it has quite a hard time keeping up. And well, rest looking good. Interesting. So those are the great powers. Let's get time ticking. Alright, missionaries doing their job. A decent job. Set them out once more. There they go. Switch out those unbelievers. Provinces are already being switched out, which is even better. It's looking like a pretty easy switch in faith, which I like, of course. Alright, let's check. Are we still ahead in time? Yes. Manpower recovery speed going faster. Always a great one. If those regimental camps all come in, we can expand our army. Which will be really nice. Not that I will immediately start building a whole new army because it costs money, but in the future we can. Alright, we have no more... Ooh, he's made allies, that's a problem. We have no more... He know. Interesting. Well, let's start... No, we won't be integrating him. I want to feed him, but I just can't right now. Utrecht, also part of the Empire. 